Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be attempting to do a copycat version of the Barbados Chefette Roti. One of my subscribers asked me to make a Barbados or Bajan Roti. So I am doing him the honor today. So what you're looking at is some chicken breast that I washed in lemon juice and salt. After that, I pat it dried and I cut it into bite-sized pieces. So over here is all my spices. I have my curry, turmeric, onion powder, garam masala, adobo, black pepper, garlic powder, and allspice. So we're gonna put everything onto the chicken. I also have some green onions and some chopped fresh garlic. So guys, I'm just gonna mix everything until it's well combined. Okay guys, beautiful. So I'm just gonna cover this with some uh, plastic wrap and some aluminum foil, and we're gonna let this sit overnight in the refrigerator. So I forgot to add some jeera to my uh, curry mix. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of my jeera. So my pan is heating. I'm going to add some uh, coconut oil. And I'm also going to add a piece of uh, cream of coconut. Okay. So we're going to give this a stir and, you know, occasionally just to prevent it from sticking okay and i need to add just a bit more coconut oil so i'm just going to stir this for a couple minutes and then we're going to you know cover it and turn the heat down to low and just let it you know, simmer in its own juices for about 10, 10 minutes. Okay guys, I forgot to add my bay leaf. So that goes in there. So I'm gonna cover this and let it um, create its own juices and just let it simmer on low for 10 minutes. Okay guys, so this is looking really good. I gave it a stir earlier off camera. Look at the juices guys that that has created. Okay, this is looking really good. So I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes while I prepare my potatoes. And you know what guys, now is a good time that you wanna put your chicken cube in there. Okay guys, so this has been cooking for 10 minutes. And now we're gonna add our potatoes. What a beautiful color, guys. And also, you can also use um, chicken stock, but in my case, I didn't have any on hand today, so that's why I used 
water. Okay, so you're gonna add our fresh thyme and just a bit more green onions. Guys, when the potatoes are all tender, we're all done. So we're gonna cover this and let it simmer on low until the potatoes are soft and tender. And I'll see you back. Okay guys, my curry is pretty much done. Guys, I'm gonna have to say, as to date, this is like the best curry, okay? That I've made so far. Yeah. This is like really, really, really awesome. Try not to crush my potatoes too much. But this is so good, guys. The color is amazing. The texture and the taste. It's like, wow. What a perfect combination. What a perfect combination, guys. I'm going to fish out that uh, bay leaf just now. Okay, so guys, this is your curry, chicken, and potato. All right. Yummy goodness. Yummy goodness. Okay, everyone, here is the finished product of the curry chicken with potatoes. Guys, this is so amazing. It is so amazing. I'm going to be posting this recipe separately, you know, so it's not always together with the roti. All right. So you can look out for that, guys. Awesome recipe. Awesome recipe. And you need to try this. Okay, everyone, in this bowl is my flour and my baking powder. So I'm just gonna uh, mix this until it's well combined. Then I'm gonna add my water gradually and bring it to a soft and sticky dough. So I have some extra flour back here. So I'm gonna add some extra flour, you know, to bring it to the consistency that I'm looking for. It is a messy job, guys, but the end results is so worth it. Trust me. Okay, so guys, this is the texture that you're looking for, okay? So I'm going to clean my hands up a little bit and then I'll eat you back. Okay guys, so my counter surface is super clean. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my dough out. And we're going to divide this into, I think I'm going to make four dough balls. So now we're gonna roll these out to like an oblong shape. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a knife. So I have a bowl back here as well with some oil and some margarine, okay? So I'm gonna cover that. Cover this surface with the mixture. Then we're gonna put a little flour on top. 
and we're gonna slit it down the middle halfway down okay and then we're gonna take it from the top right and roll it all the way to the other end just like that so we're gonna take that other end and we're gonna tuck it in the middle okay then we're gonna push all the sides in put it on your counter take your finger push it down right in the center and that's it guys So now I'm going to place this over on my board and we're going to do another one. Okay, everyone, um, so while these are resting, you wanna cover them you know, with some plastic wrap and let them sit for 15 minutes to half an hour. Okay, so in the meantime, we'll uh, prep or tower to cook them. Okay, everyone, it's time to cook or rotis. And um, my griddle here, my tower is hot. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, I switched the camera so you can see how I'm rolling out the roti dolls. Okay guys, so here is my skin. And you can see the bubbles are starting to form. So I'm going to flip this over. Now I'm going to lightly brush it with the same oil and butter mixture. See the bubbles? So now I'm going to flip this again. And I'm going to oil the other side as well. And this is pretty much done, guys. Okay, just want to make sure your ends cook like around here. Okay, so our first roti is all done. The reason why it took this long is because, you know, the uh, the heat, the burner is actually smaller than the, the tower itself. So that's one of the reasons why. So that's why you have to make sure and make, you know, have the ends cooked. Okay, so we're gonna cover that over and we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, what is all done? We are all done. Okay, so we have four rotis, roti skins. Okay guys, I have to admit I'm not very good at clapping the roti, so I will be placing them into this 
a sealed container and I'm gonna shake them. So I'm gonna do two at a time. I, yeah, I think my hands are like really small, so I'm really not good at it. So I think I can shake them a little bit more. Oh, let's shake it a little bit more. Okay, everyone, are you ready for the Bajan roti? Okay, let's see what I have for you guys. There is your Bajan roti. So I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. That's what your roti looks like, guys. That's what your roti should look like. Soft and pliable. Soft and pliable. So, I will wrap a roti for you and let you see what it looks like. So guys, that's your roti, nice and hot. Okay everyone, before I cut into this roti so you can see, I want to thank you all so very much for watching and I sure had fun preparing this for Randolph. I hope Randolph that I do justice by you. Randolph can be known at times to be a little harsh uh, critique of mine. So Randolph, this is for you. So thank you all so very much for watching and guys, please remember to give me a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Okay guys, I have to say, this is better than Shafet. Who needs Shafet? Guys, wherever you live, you can make your own Shafet roti, okay? Thank you all so much again for watching.